So our quest continues for Apocalypse 5. So we're starting a new a new run on Apocalypse 5 and uh, and I have a new-ish strategy that was given to me by uh, by a viewer who recommended early in. So we're going to going to give that a try. See how it goes. And let's also see what we get for friends here. Looks like we have ourselves a hammer, a short bow, and a power staff. All right. It's not bad. Hey, Vaynard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for some last spell action. So we picked up a plus one hammer here on a surgeon with giant's blood who is short. Good to see you. Glad you're feeling well. I'm pretty psyched about what's going on too here. Uh, the troll blood amulet though is a, a bit of hot garbage, so I'm gonna let that go, and maybe we'll come back to those other items. Then we have a short bow. Hey, Robbie, uh, with some accuracy and some resistance reduction, I think that can go somewhere else. And then I'm gonna move these pants over i think and the armor can stay and the nasal helm i'm also going to move over that's quite nice uh we're going to put that here to counteract the slowness and then i like the accuracy trinket there and then i'd rather these pants go here and then i don't know if we can afford the accuracy loss here so i think we may we may hold off on those two, but let's take a look at our ranged character, who is a sniper. Love to see it. Short again, and then light traveler, minus one bag slot, plus 7% crit. I will take light traveler any day. So far, these perks are feeling pretty solid. And then last but not least, we have our caster friend, who has a fey amulet. Also short. Is our whole party short? Oh my gosh. Yes, this is incredible. Our entire, uh, our entire party, all three of the characters are short. I'm like, plus one move, but you're only at seven move points? What's going on here? Uh, so our caster is a scholar who is strong and short. We don't love that. Uh, I think I'm gonna move the Warren Greaves over. Uh, this amulet's not gonna get used. So I'm just going to I'm going to put the crit pants on you and leave leave your dodge up above 0 because the power staff is relatively short range. Uh and the troll blood amulet is not worth the paper it is printed on. Our sensor distribution looks good. So I think all that we have to do here is uh try as we might to uh to pick off all the baddies hope we don't get runners and if we do we uh we manage to handle them big money no whammies here we go okay so it seems like uh i over anticipated uh the distribution here so we're gonna we're gonna lose out on some of the uh some of the goodness, but... So if I move to here, how far can I re retreat? I'm not so sure I want to... Uh... This one's a problem, so I'm gonna spend the extra actions on that one, and then... And then we'll retreat as much as we can. But on you, I can move one over. Nah, I can't really, can I? All right, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna back up and accept that things are gonna be a little, a little dicey. Oh, the Fey Amulet. Wait, is this, is this run from a Fey Amulet? 
It is. I didn't realize you get three charges of that. That's quite, uh, quite impactful. Oh, but I'm being an idiot. I forgot. You can't, you can't gain more movements than your maximum movement. So that was a bit of a waste, unfortunately. And I should have done more damage to that sensor. But, uh, but now we're in relatively good shape and hopefully we're not going to take too many hits here. All right. Now, we have decent mana regen on this character, so... If we move forward one, can we get a... Oh, that's a... That's a beautiful thing right there. Um, I think I'm going to move you over and try to... Oh... I made a mistake. I thought this guy was going to be gettable, but we, uh, but I moved too close and used up all our power, power, power shots. Sorry about that. Um, so that's, uh, that's going to prove curious. Is there any way I can... I think I spend a little more mana to try and clean up my uh, my mistake. I think I can move forward here and keep... Uh, the crit is just out of control here. Um, like I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, now we can... I think we can move into... Hold on. Let's uh let's be more judicious here. If I move to here and to here. I'm gonna spend actions on on running away, but I think it's gonna be worth it. All right, so that's almost everything. We're going to have some coming in over here, but I think this is looking somewhat manageable. Let's see, if you move to here, that's another beautiful one. Uh, if if you can do that, Bear, I would uh, I would greatly appreciate the extra insight because uh, I'm I'm flying a little seat of the pants based on uh, based on your recommendations, uh, which I appreciate very much. Ooh, that was a bad breakpoint. Uh, let's see if I move to here, I can be sad when that gets dodged. Uh, but we've gotten really lucky with our Reign of Arrows so far, so I'm hoping that that luck continues. Uh, Bear, you're going to get a kick out of this. Let me do a quick once-over of our characters. Uh, every one of our characters is short. So we have Supriya, short. Uh, Durand, short. Serafina, short. Uh, our other quirks are uh, are pretty top tier, uh, so I'm not complaining. But uh, but we are uh, we are a short bunch for sure. Okay, I'll move to there, and then if I move forward too, I can kind of eliminate you. Move forward one more. Do I really still not have vision on the back ones here? That hurts. Because uh, I want to use Scorching Wave to uh, take some folks out. And then I wanted to uh, jump over here to take this guy out. Well, that really is disappointing. Um... I really thought that was uh, that was gonna get the job done. 
Uh, I think we, we have to run no matter what at this point. Uh, and we have to hope that this guy doesn't do anything too heroic. Okay, we like to see all that. Uh, the crits keep uh, keep flowing. I don't love... I mean, I think I have to move forward here and try and take that guy out, but yeah, I was worried that was going to be almost exactly the way it was. Uh, so if I move forward one more here, I think I can get the... What was... How many dodges was that? That was insanity. So let's see. I don't think I don't think there's a great fire thrower available here. So I'm going to come over and deal with these ones, I think. Uh, okay, so we got the stun there, so we can move in here pretty safely. Uh, I hate spending action points on this at all. So I think I'm just gonna uh, block that up and then little little nervous about Serafina taking some damage on this one, but yeah, th the three surround is, is a lot. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. That was very doable. Okay. So I think I move to I I try and nuke this guy down, then go like that, and then I think there's a That's pretty good, but it it exposes us a little bit and maybe we can get as good a one here. No, that's not as good. I'm looking at it because we can we can get regain six movement points. So I think we move to here. We get everybody that we can. We weep softly for the uh, the very bad result that we got in terms of uh, of dodges there. Um, but what are you gonna do? So we're, we're relying on our archer to do a lot of work here. Uh, okay. Two power shots should down this guy. And then where, where else do we? I think we just, we probably take out one of these over here. Um, or try to. Okay, and then you armor up and move around the corner to block. All right. We've spent some archer mana. Ooh, we're taking an archer hit, which I don't like. Potentially, at least. Okay, the dodge is nice. Okay. That was a that was a decent result. We got some stuns off, which I think are, is really good for us. Uh, 
Those are mostly stunned units, so I don't want to waste the time. Oh, that is really nice, though. Now we're gonna we're gonna have a mana problem for sure. Uh, I can move to here, but we're going to potentially take some some structure damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, to sink us. Okay, we can use a punch to get there, and then does this... I feel like... I feel like this one is really good. We're, we're spending a lot of mana, for sure. Uh, how far does that get you? Okay, so we... I'm going to run back to here, because this is a good, like, base of operations. And we can... We could hope that that one worked. But I think... I think that's about as good as we're going to get. And then we do need to think about locking down a baddie... Uh, Ooh, I don't like taking damage there, but I think I think we're stable now. Uh, famous last words. The, the stuns are insane. Uh, oh my gosh. The the breakpoints on this power staff are uh, are not as insane. Um, okay, so a little worried we're gonna take a wound on Seraphina here, but. Oh, very unfortunate uh, that I didn't notice we were going to run out of action points there. Uh, geez. They don't make them like they used to. Uh, okay, and one of these baddies we have to hold outside of panic range, but... Get rid of you. Okay, we can hold this guy in place, which will give us uh, ample space for sensors. The hammer is a very strong early game weapon. Uh, not to be trifled with. Okay, we did get that done. And I guess I'll just make a beeline for these over here. All right, we're not going to... Can't, can't, oh, can quite get there, actually. Okay, good stuff. I think this will still hold, hold him in place, and that will allow us to uh, do some work on this sensor in the meantime. There we go. So I can I can move over one. The crit rate is already insane. Uh, sensors at 128. We can safely hit it once more. Hey, sleeping. It's good to see you. Or curious. Sorry. Force of habit. I knew you before you were famous. Uh, it's good to see you. How's it going? I've uh, I've finally settled things down over here, and uh, and I'm gonna be returning to a 
slightly normal adjacent streaming schedule, which feels uh, just so, so good uh, to potentially have a somewhat reliable plan in place. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't been able to catch many streams lately. How is uh, How is life going for you? Yeah, I mean normal normal adjacent. Let's not uh let's not pretend it's anything too fancy. But uh yeah, it is uh it's not it's a lot closer to to normal than it used to be. I'll put it that way. Uh why is there why is there mist right here? What's causing? Is this sensor causing that mist? Hmm. That's interesting. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue pressing forward uh, on trying to get these higher difficulties to done, which is a uh, no easy task. All right, yeah, this this character is all done. We'll just do that for safety's sake. This sensor, yeah, the sensor's done. Oh, love love me some monster train. I'm glad to hear you're uh, you're enjoying it. You'll have to you'll have to teach me a few things once you uh, once you ascend to uh, to god tier at monster train. How are you? Uh, are you playing it much on stream, or are you kind of waiting until you've uh, until you've leveled it up a bit for that? Oh, we did take a wound on this character. That's a little unfortunate. 375, I think we can safely power shot once. Nice. Oh shoot. I think we need to give this a punch or two. What uh what covenant have you made it to so far? And uh what are your favorite uh your favorite combos? I've always been a big Umbra fan. Ah, remnants. Okay, yep. I can see it. Uh, the melt, which uh, the melting rem remnant or the uh, the spark remnant, like the the fleeting remnant, the primary or the secondary, I guess. I really like the the wax, the wax guy who has the burnout. Uh... All right, so you're making you're making good progress for sure. Okay, we got below a hundred, so we'll let that go. But this Fey Amulet is just so money for uh, for being able to get places and fully utilize actions. There we go, and then yeah, maybe we'll buy a uh, maybe we'll buy a health potion to try and offset the damage that we've taken on our melee. Oh, I, I do like, okay, so the Exile Umbra, is that the, uh, that's the, the Morsel one, right? That's the, uh, yeah, the Morsel that has, like, insane effects that it, uh, passes on. Yeah, the Buffet guy, exactly. Uh. Yeah, I love, I love me some Monster Train. I haven't thought about that game in a while. But it is so good. I picked up uh, I picked up a Rotus last night, uh, and I've been having fun with that. Oh, did I get this one? Yeah, I did get this one sorted out. Okay, good. Let's see. You have all the movement you could ever want. Ooh, a lot of sensors up here that we have to get around to. 289 we can probably do that down to 180 i don't think we can crit for 180 so that's yes i i i have so much fun i think gorge is an awesome trigger have you gotten the uh the permanent upgrade gorge unit yet uh i find that uh, combining those with other things and getting just like an insane giant unit can be a uh, just so much fun. You get the morsel maker and you just you can just start rolling. 65, 64, 76. 
Move you over here. This one needs a lot of work. And are are you playing uh are you playing DLC? With the uh with the the true final boss setup? I forget I forget what his name is. The 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 unit. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, okay. That's that's the primary version that I played mostly. Uh, I I only started. Oh yeah, the Last Divinity is the name of the uh, the other version. Um, and uh, and I only played a little bit of that before. Uh, I, I mean after I uh, after I started streaming that is. Uh, but the Last Divinity is is a solid expansion. Oh yes, definitely should do that. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at what my uh, what my monster train viewership was like. Uh, I think it was it was okay. Uh, I don't think it was uh, it was pants on fire. I would have probably kept doing it, but uh, but you know, sometimes we just play these games because we love them. All right, so I'm just gonna blow that up. But yeah, I need I need a game like that because I feel like right now, now that I have Erratus and Darkest Dungeon, two of my slots are taken up with games that are uh, arguably very sim similar. Uh, and then I have Last Spell, which is still like roguelike RPG. It would be good to have a card game in the mix. Uh, and I don't think I'm... I don't think I am capable of Slay the Spiring on stream. So I've watched some uh, some play of it. I've never... Uh, I have not played it myself. Um, but I, I never really got that that into it. It's got... It, that's the that's the side-scroller kind of like descent down type, type game. With a little bit of a, a shoot-em-up aspect to it maybe. The hardest roguelite you've played. Wow, that's a. Uh, I I'm gonna say that's high praise. <laughs> because I do relish the tough games for sure. But yeah, it's not a game that's that's. It's a game that's been on my radar. I've seen some people play it, but I've never. Uh, I've never sunk my teeth into it. The, the weapon upgrade system seemed really interesting, though. Uh, let's see. 580? 255. I think we can safely hit that once more and then give it a little punch a -roo. Okay, that was a little risky. Should have been checking myself so I don't wreck myself, as it were. Two punches for that one. What about this one? No punches for that one. Okay, so I think we are done. So there we go. All right, so that's a that's a perfect night one. Yeah, the wands and their upgrades look pretty interesting. Yeah, and then unsurprisingly, uh, Superior, who I believe is our hammer user, uh, did work, but. We definitely took some uh, took some hits uh, hit points wise, and the wounds are gonna hurt us a bit because they're gonna hurt our movement. All right, we're getting it from two sides right off the bat, which is uh, a little worrisome, but a good night one reward could make a huge difference. So let's see about that. Okay, this looks good. They're all weapons. Uh, we have a magic orb with crit and mana. We have a master druid staff that looks pretty tempting. And a rusty axe. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to need some mana, Robbie. I think you are right. Uh... 
Yeah, the mana we can we can probably. Oh, okay. So it was, it was actually our ranged character that got most of the kills last night, which makes sense. Um, so we either our caster, so sixty five or sixty six to seventy seven. This one I would say has better upside. The axe I'm not loving. So I think it's the druid's staff. We have decent mana regen, so our caster will have two weapons. Yeah, we don't... That we're going to sell. Sell that for some money, and then... As is always tradition, we're going to do... Upgrade, upgrade. We're going to get the four spot. I think this ruin is the best first ruin to go with. We might want, might have wanted to done this one. Uh, now, in the shop, we're not looking... There's not a lot of stuff that's really got me excited, except the, the magic hat is interesting. Five workers for the night, eh? So, so you're saying at this point we start we start upgrading uh, we start upgrading a mine? Hmm. I'm trying. I think normally I go normally on this one, I build another house, upgrade it, which takes me down to like eighty. I take down a two ruin, which takes me back up to about a hundred, and then. A gold mine is 54, but then we have, what, 80 more that we need to spend on it for upgrades? I think we're pretty, like, I'm feeling pretty good. I think that the, uh, with a little bit of support, the mage can solo, uh, but I'm very nervous about our, uh, our warrior who is right on the edge of wounded, and we have, we've given them nothing to make them more survivable. Uh, we could pick up the health potion for sure, but but see, so you're saying, uh, Bear, you're saying that you would put the here. Let's do our level ups just to see how how hooked up we get. Uh, this is looking like not very hooked up so far. We'll take the physical damage. Given that everyone is short, I'm tempted to take a movement point, but I think a green physical damage is just too good. Now, crit power, given we're already at 25% crit due to traits, uh, I think is pretty huge. We're going to have to spend some mana this turn, I think, is the short version. Uh, coagulation is pretty underwhelming. I'm going to roll this once to see if we get something more interesting. I'll take the blue resistance reduction, but begrudgingly so. Now I think we go... I'm going to do back protection for sure. So I think it's avid learner back protection here to try to get, to try to get us a little more survivable. So hopefully we don't take damage on this turn. All right, no, I'm I'm down I'm down to try it out, uh, bear. Let's uh, we'll take the crit there. Let me finish the upgrades and then we will uh, and then we'll get down to serious business here. I'm gonna take the damage upgrade and the damage upgrade again, I guess. Then I'll take avid learner and steady aim is almost always my default. But maybe we take Thrifty because we're going to be using their ability. Yeah, I mean, I think... Just making this cost three, I think, is probably the better play. The range isn't going to do us that much good. They're going to be on top of us in no time. Uh, so I think that's the play. And then our last character... 
we're not going we're not going battle mage or anything like that so magic damage looks good we didn't pick up an isolated uh daily mana regen i think is big here so i'm going to pick up one of those i've been skimping on accuracy uh i think i just picked up an accuracy though didn't i no i just picked up a daily mana regen so i'll pick up an accuracy and then that and thrifty is an easy choice all right Okay, so so let's build let's build the mine so we get some we get some gold pumping, and then you're saying we do. I I say I can see us doing a production plus at forty eight gold, but that's gonna leave us sub. That's gonna leave us sub another in. Ah. Uh, but I think we can sell stuff to get there. So let's let's do that. And then I really like that Fey amulet. These worn pants are pretty garbage though. So I'll sell those, which gets us back up to an inn. Then we can spend this to get back the 25 gold gets us up to 35 and then I don't feel bad about if there's something in the shop to buy even just a kettle helm is tempting the magic hat is quite tempting uh this is apocalypse 5 sleeping uh which I have yet to defeat we could also go for the health potion um or the steel spear With the hammer, we don't have too much trouble using up all of our actions. Like, we have seven in basic attacks without that. So I'm not feeling too pressured to pick up the spear. The rifle is not that interesting. The magic hat is a investment in the future. Do we, t we technically don't have enough for the silver hand crossbow and... Uh, But we could probably mortgage the farm to get there. Let's let's see how much stuff is uh, not that valuable that we could let go of. No, I don't want. Gosh, I wish we had. I wish we had better gear for our uh, our range character. Can lose this and this. You probably want to hang on to that and that. So we've got. We've got 12 gold there. That brings us up to 47. We need 52. We could get there. We just need one five more gold item. Because I, I think picking up that multi-hit hat with the hand crossbow early could be a big boon for us. This helmet's not that useful. Gets us the eight. I think that gets us there. So I'm going to sell those. The math does appear to work out. We pick up that and that. And apply them here. Oops, let's not take that off. And now we have some multi-hit engine stuff going on. I'm going to stand here because I think I can take out these three sensors right on the first turn. Uh... And then we're going to have to be a little reactive to what happens. But I like uh, I like the start here we have here. Uh, I'm going to put one catapult about here on the corner to try to give us as much coverage as possible. And with that, I think we're ready for the next night. <laughs>